Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'd like to tell you about different ways you can store data on Google Cloud. In the next few minutes, we'll talk about how you can store files, relational data, NoSQL data, and more on Google Cloud. Ready? Let's get started. First, we have cloud storage. Cloud storage is great for storing files of any format in the cloud. This includes unstructured data like images, videos, and documents. For example, let's say you're building a social networking website for international travelers. You could use cloud storage to store profile photos and travel videos for each user. Everything in cloud storage is organized into buckets and objects. Buckets are the basic containers that hold your data. You can use them to easily organize your data. For example, you could create a bucket called profile photos. Objects are the individual pieces of data that you store in cloud storage. Each profile photo would be an object. Cloud Storage offers several ways to upload objects to your buckets or download objects from them using the Google Cloud Console, the GSUtil command line tool, or programmatically using our client libraries. You can also control who has access to your buckets and objects or make them publicly available. Next up, we have Google Cloud SQL. Cloud SQL is a fully managed relational database service that supports MySQL, Postgres, and SQL Server. Relational databases store structured data in tables, rows, and columns based on a predefined schema. They are often used for applications where the structure of the data does not change often. Google Cloud handles many of the mundane, time-consuming tasks of managing a database, like patches, updates, backups, and replicas, so you can focus on building your application. Setting up Cloud SQL takes just a few steps. You can create an instance using the Google Cloud Console or the G Cloud command line tool. First, you'll choose a database engine between MySQL, Postgres, and SQL Server. Then, you'll configure settings for your database instance, like instance ID, password, and database version. You'll also select a region and zone where your data will be stored. If you like, you can further customize your instance's machine type, storage, backups, and more. After that, you'll be ready to upload your data or connect your applications. Several important features of Cloud SQL include full encryption at rest and in transit, a private IP address, data replication between multiple zones with automatic failover, automated backups, and point-in-time recovery. If you're looking for a NoSQL database, check out Cloud Firestore. In contrast to relational databases, NoSQL databases don't require a predefined schema of what type of data is being stored. This makes it easier to work with less structured data, allowing for more flexibility and adaptability. Non-relational databases are good for use cases where the type of data being stored may change over time. Cloud Firestore is a scalable, document-based NoSQL database. Everything in Cloud Firestore is organized into collections and documents. At the top level, there are collections. You may have a collection called Users that contains data about the users of your application. Within each collection is a series of documents. You might have a document for each user of your application. Within each document, data is stored as key value pairs. In this example, the data fields include first name, last name, and year of birth. Since Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL database, you can have different fields for different users. Perhaps another user could have data fields for first name, country, and gender. Cloud Firestore has a real-time interface, which means that your users will be automatically updated in real time whenever the database changes. This makes Firestore popular for applications where data needs to be synced across users and devices, such as gaming leaderboards or collaborative whiteboards. Other key features of Cloud Firestore include multi-region data replication for reliability, strong consistency, and robust client libraries for mobile apps, front-end JavaScript, and server-side programming languages. Next up, we have BigQuery. BigQuery is Google Cloud's enterprise data warehouse that lets you ingest, store, analyze, and visualize big data with ease. It's designed to make large-scale data analysis accessible to everyone. BigQuery is fast, allowing you to perform complex queries in seconds. BigQuery also makes it easy to scale seamlessly, up to petabyte scale. Additionally, it supports a standard SQL dialect. So if you already know SQL, you're all set. To interact with BigQuery, you can use the Google Cloud Console, the BQ command line tool, or access it via code using our client libraries. One of the best ways to get started with BigQuery is by exploring its free public data sets. 
These cover a diverse collection of topics, including economics, public transit, and college basketball. One interesting data set is USA Names, which has data about the number of babies in the United States born with each name from 1910 through 2013. In this example, you could query the USA Names data set to find the top five boys' names in California in 1994. As you can see, the most popular names were Daniel, Michael, Jose, Christopher, and David. If you want to explore BigQuery capabilities at no cost and confirm that it fits your needs, check out the BigQuery Sandbox by following the link in the description below. While we covered a few key storage and database options, there are many more that you may want to explore. CloudSpanner is a fully managed relational database with unlimited scale, strong consistency, and up to 99.999% availability. It's been used in industries like gaming, fintech, healthcare, retail, tech, and media. Cloud Bigtable is a fully managed NoSQL database that's designed to support large analytical and operational workloads. It's optimized for applications that require large numbers of reads and writes per second, low latency, and performance at scale. To learn more about all of our storage and database options, visit cloud.google.com slash products. So there you have it, an overview of how you can store, retrieve, and analyze data on Google Cloud. Make sure to check out other episodes of Google Cloud Essentials, where we cover topics like the Google Cloud Console, the Google Cloud SDK, key use cases, and more. I can't wait to see what you build with Google Cloud.